There are several online tools that caregivers can use to quantify canine pain. Some of them are free and some require a subscription. This one's a free iPhone app. It uses a sliding scale from 0 to 10. Now before you begin, there's a simple but important tip to help you avoid personal bias. Our normal human instincts compel us to select a score which suits us. For instance, if we're giving a new painkiller, we'll often choose lower pain scores to help us believe it's effective, even if it isn't. This is called the caregiver placebo effect and it's a big problem for our dogs. The advantage of this app is that we can switch off the numbers by tapping the eye icon in the lower left corner. Once you've done that, slide the black rectangle from left to right. Sliding to the left towards the apex of the triangle means less pain and sliding to the right means more. To limit bias, try to be instinctive. This isn't a good time for overthinking. Once you've hit your mark, tap the eye icon and record that day's score in your diary. It's so quick and so easy that you could use it every day. Now this is a great app for dogs with subtle lameness because subtle signs often don't show up on dog specific pain metrics like load and CBPI. If the only problem is limping, this is the app for you. If your dog's recovering from surgery or you're trialing a new painkiller, this is an ideal way to track progress. So now I'm gonna vanish and in my place, you'll find a link to the app.